Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can quickly create the grunge effect in Photoshop Elements. So the first thing I want to do is duplicate my background layer, and I can do that by pressing Command-J on a Mac, or if you're on a Windows computer, it would be Control-J. And now on that duplicate layer, I want to apply a filter. So I go up to the Filter menu, go down to Other, and choose High Pass. And it changes your image into this really strange looking thing, and uh, you get a dialog box. And there's a radius slider at the bottom. What I like to do is bring that radius slider all the way over to the left, so my screen goes basically gray, and then start bringing it back slowly towards the right, and as I slide the radius slider to the right, you can see it brings out some more detail in my image. And if you go too far, it just kind of gives you this hazy effect. So just come back until you start seeing some, uh, some of the detail in the image. And this looks pretty good for this image, so I'm going to say OK. And now you can see there's just a hint of color in the lips and in the face on this image. So I want to get rid of that. And I do that by going up to the Enhance menu, go down to Adjust Color, and choose Remove Color. And it takes all that hint of color out. Now to see our effect, we need to go back to the Layers panel and change our Blend Mode from Normal to Overlay. And now it really looks like we just applied a nice sharpening effect. And in fact, uh, this is a technique that is used uh, by Photoshop and Photoshop Elements users uh, to sharpen photos, but we want more of a grunge effect in this case, so uh, we need to keep intensifying this effect. And we can do that by simply duplicating um, our new layer over and over. And again, if I use uh, Command or Control J, every time I do that, it creates a new layer and it intensifies the effect each time. So I think that's uh, a pretty pretty intense effect right there. So I'm going to stop. You could go further if you wanted to. And now since all these, all four of these layers above the background layer are basically the same thing, uh, just to save uh, on file size I'm going to merge them down. So I'm going to turn the visibility off on the background layer by clicking on that eyeball. And then if you go to your layers panel up at the top it's hard to see. This is Photoshop Elements 8. In 9, they improved this, so there's you can see some of these things better. But there's um, a bunch of horizontal lines and a little arrow. And if you click on that, you get this drop-down menu. And from that, I'm going to choose Merge Visible. And when I do that, it um, merges all those layers into one layer. Now I'll turn the visibility back onto the background layer and change my blend mode to overlay once again. And now we have the same effect that we had before but it's all compressed down into one layer. Now at this point you can also try some different blend modes and you'll get slightly different effects. So if I try hard light, there you go. Vivid light, linear light, so it kind of depends on exactly the effect you want, but you can play around with those blend modes and see what you like. I like this linear light, except it's pretty intense, so I'm going to bring the opacity down on that layer a little bit, and as I do that, it takes away some of that intensity. And I think that looks pretty good there. One problem I notice is there's a halo around the head. Um, we can fix that, but I'm going to um, save that for another video. So at this point, um, I think we achieved the effect we want. To see lots more tutorials, visit my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Until next time, this is Rick saying take care.